Hey, 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 tough and the out of this world story from Street Travel. There are ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back in Street Travel. I am your host, Manir. Story 1 Am I the a hole for walking out of my STEM family's New Year's party and ignoring them? Original post I, 25 male, am part of a large STEM family. My entire family is Ivy League educated. My parents, five siblings, etc. They're all doctors, scientists, and mathematicians. I am the only one who isn't. Growing up, I was always the black sheep. School just didn't come easy to me. They even had me tested for learning disabilities at one point. I had nothing, but I just wasn't good at school. I spent my entire childhood crying over math textbooks, wondering why I didn't get it. Why it's so easy for them and not for me. Art came easy. Literature came easy. But to my family, that was trash and not worth focusing on. It didn't help that they kept sending me to the same academic schools my siblings went to. Those schools were brutal. The competition there was fierce and kids were literally snorting Adderall to get through exam week. That environment didn't help. Things didn't improve until I moved out at 18 and got a job at a tattoo parlor. I was able to get an art degree. I started writing, going to therapy, and got a boyfriend. My life just got better because for the first time I could just be me. My family couldn't accept this and contact with them became less and less. Every time I meet them, they never make an effort to talk to me about things that I like. They just talk about themselves and about STEM subjects. I don't understand. I try to engage them, but the things they discuss I just don't know. Whenever I ask questions they get annoyed because now they have to dumb things down for the family idiot. The only time they talk to me is to discuss my failure in life. Mostly I just sit there quietly. That's how my whole life has been with them. Recently I got a publishing deal for my fantasy novel. I was super excited to tell my family at their New Year's party. The first thing they did was ask what kind of novel was it. When I said fantasy they awkwardly laughed and changed this topic to my cousin's PDH thesis. This was my biggest achievement and they shat on it. I told them they were being rude and that they had treated me like crap my whole life. They snapped back to stop making a scene that I had been a difficult child and to be understanding, I really lost it then. I screamed that I was never a difficult child. I never drank, sneaked out, stole, did drugs or got into a fight. I just wasn't into science which isn't a big deal at all. So what if I wasn't good at school? Any other family would have been glad to have. I left after that. Since then, they've been trying to contact me. To be fair, they do seem very apologetic, but I've been ignoring them. My dad's last text said, I'm being childish and I need to talk to them. A part of me feels bad because I ruined New Year's and a lot of my family's colleagues were there too and they witnessed it which was probably humiliating for them. They work in really prestigious competitive fields and I humiliated them. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top of comments before reading the update. Not the a-hole. Sounds like you just snapped after getting a lot of disrespect over the years. Also, as someone who also comes from an academic family with a few writers, I can tell you it's a lot harder to get a book deal than a PhD. As someone with a master's degree, this is so true. I'm sorry kiddo, we celebrate you though, and we are proud of you. As someone who has been lucky enough to have both a PhD and a book deal, albeit non-fiction, this is so true. Also, arts and humanities subjects can also be academic. Ops family sound arrogant. It's not particularly uncommon for the hard sciences to talk SHT about the soft sciences. Some people just have a hard time understanding that because something is less strictly measurable that it can still mean something and take years to understand. Congrats on your book deal op. Sorry your family sucks. Edit. Thanks a lot for the support. I fell asleep after posting this so I didn't get to reply to everyone. I talked to my dad and asked him to meet me. He said we can meet later today or tomorrow. I'll update you after that. Now for the update. Firstly, I'd like to thank everyone for the replies. I posted this before going to bed so I wasn't able to reply. When I woke up this morning after reading through everything, I decided to text my dad and ask him if we could meet. To my surprise, he said yes, that we could even meet today. 
I was even more surprised when I showed up to all six of my siblings being there. I asked them how they all managed to get time off at the last minute as they all have busy jobs. My sister said not to worry about it. They shuffled some things around. Everybody looked pretty upset. I hate awkward silence so I started off. I said sorry for exploding during the party. It wasn't the place or the time to air out dirty laundry. I know I embarrassed everyone and ruined New Year's Eve, but I wasn't sorry about the things I said. Just where and when I said them. My brother asked why I exploded like that and how long I felt that way. I told them that I had enough. I started writing my book at 19 and after years of rejection I got a publisher. Did he have any idea how big of a deal that was? Did he think everybody got published and they just laughed at me and moved on like I was an embarrassment? They said sorry and that they didn't mean it. I didn't know what to say so there was more of an awkward silence after that. I just drank my coke until dad spoke. He said that he didn't mean to make me feel bad, just that he didn't read fantasy books. I snapped and said, so what? I don't like string theory, but I still ask him about it. I don't like the Eilenberg genia conjecture, but I still listen when he talks about it. I ask questions and I care. What would it cost him to ask me about my novel? I'm so sick and tired of being treated like the village idiot all the time. Mom said they don't treat me like that. I told her they do. They've been treating me like the problem child my whole life. She said it wasn't easy raising me. I started yelling at this point. I'm not proud of it. I'm not usually a person who yells, but I just couldn't take it. I asked her what did I do that was so bad. Did I drink, do drugs, steal, cheat, sneak out, lie, fight, or even fail a test? What I did that was so bad other than being a below-average student everyone got quiet after that I could see my mom knew she was exposed. That there was nothing she could say to defend herself. Then my sister stepped in she said it wasn't easy with my mental health issues. She's referring to the fact that I self-harm pretty regularly from 6th grade to 12th. I told her she had the F-seeking nerve remember how in my post I mentioned kids snorting Adderall during exam week. She was one of them. They're the reason I self-harm because they made me feel like SHT just because I wasn't good at math. Either way I wasn't a problem child because I self-harmed. I was a child who needed help and love. Neither of which they gave me and if we wanted to talk about problem kids then we should talk about her drug addiction because I wasn't the kid that had to go to rehab. She started crying and I didn't even care. Dad told me to calm down but I didn't want to. I told him I was done. From this day onwards they were dead to me and I to them. They said I couldn't do that. That they were family. I said I already had a family. One that loved me for who I am. Dad said that we could try family therapy and that we could work on things. I asked him why. What did I gain from this? He's nothing more than a sperm donor and the reason for my trauma. Even if we go to therapy, it won't make what happened to me go away. I already had a loving and caring family. I didn't need them. Dad started crying at this point. I told them not to contact me anymore, not for funerals and not for weddings. My eldest brother asked me if I might change my mind one day. I told him probably not. I already had a complete life filled with people who loved me. With that, I got up. Dad asked for a hug, so I gave him one. Then everybody else wanted a hug too so I did and I left. I'm done. I know I should feel bad but I don't. I just don't see anything for me to gain. Every time I'm with them I remember being that kid looking around the table seeing everybody talking and feeling like an outsider because I don't know enough to join in. I remember all the nights of them trying to tutor me and ending up screaming at me, why don't you get it? I remember the disappointment of every report card and then I think about my real family and the love they give me. I don't need them. I needed them before, but not now. Thank you to everyone who wants to read my book. I've thought long and hard and I've decided not to post my real name here. My books are something I built out of the ashes of my childhood. I don't want it attached to them in any way I know logically it might not make sense, but it's how I feel this book is my future, and I don't want it attached to my past. I've also seen some comments questioning my post because my family is in STEM. 
It means they must be the D&D &D lore kind of nerds well not all STEM folks are like that closest I could describe them would be elitist slash snobby kind of nerds. They view fantasy as a lesser form of art. For them the classics are much more distinguished in poetry. That's the closest I can describe them. Think Leonard's mom from the Big Bang Theory. Story 2. Am I the a-hole for not helping my wife with the kids when she wanted to keep them home from daycare? and I have to work. So my wife and I have two kids. One is a bit over two years old and another is five months old. I work from Monday through Friday, nine to five from home, occasionally going to the office. My wife is on maternity leave and taking care of the five-month-old. I take care of the baby overnight, wakings and feedings. The two-year-old is in daycare. Whether I send my kid to be there so much during the day, the problem is I am left watching the baby for 45 minutes while she is gone and then for the hour she is taking care of both of them, she gets overwhelmed, stressed, very annoyed at me and our kids. It's just not great overall. Every day my wife tells me that she is exhausted. She has no time to herself, she doesn't get things done that she needs to, she's overwhelmed, she wants to relax when the baby naps, etc. I try to help out with the baby during the day when I can, like feeding and putting him down during my lunch break. I just try to be available throughout the day if my wife needs me. Anyway, on to the main point of this post. Last night my wife told me she wants to keep the toddler home from daycare today. I told her that I didn't think it was a good idea. How is she going to feed and put the baby down for a nap while taking care of a toddler? She's already stressed out and overwhelmed just looking after the baby. Why put herself through more stress? I told her that I could not take the day off work and she would be alone taking care of both kids. She said she really wanted to spend time with both kids and felt like she doesn't see her toddler enough. Fine, no problem. If she wants to do this, it's up to her. I reiterated that I would not be around to help. Cut to this morning. I got up at midnight and 4 a.m. to take care of the baby. I got both kids ready and made breakfast for everyone. I start work and sure enough 20 minutes after I started, I hear my wife trying to tell her toddler that she just needs to go in the other room to put the baby down for a nap. Of course the toddler doesn't want to leave her side. Coddler starts crying. I can hear my wife getting frustrated. Wife finally leaves to put the baby down and comes back. She now has to juggle going back and forth trying to settle the baby down by putting the pacifier back in. We are starting some sleep training and the toddler wants all of her attention. Finally the baby gets settled, wife is obviously stressed and tired and it's 9.45 am. She came into my office where I'm working and asked did I not hear her struggling? Why did I not come and help? Am I the a-hole for telling my wife I told you so? that I said I would not be around to help and this is what you get, that she should have let me bring the toddler to daycare?